Hi. So today we'll be talking about the basic computer operations. Um, the content of our lesson, uh, as highlighted below, we'll talk about the computer operation types, the input operation of the computer, the processing operation of the computer, the output storage and at the end of the lesson students should be able to answer the quiz that follows computer operation these days we rely on computers for just about everything from keeping in touch with friends and family to performing financial transactions computers do all the things they do because they are able to perform four basic operations so here we have um, a diagram showing us what the basic operation of the computer looks like from the input to processing operation to the output and also the storage also known as memory the input operation input is simply whatever goes into the computer as smart as computers are they still need input from humans to tell them what to do and provide data to process. Input is supplied to the computer with the use of the two major devices we know, which are the keyboard and mouse, or by using other input devices known as peripheral devices. So we have images here showing us the input devices we have, or the ones we've talked about, we mentioned. So we have a mouse which we are familiar with, the keyboard, the audio for recording, um, the mic, microphone, sorry, for recording audio into the computer. And we have a biometric finger scanner. scanner. So the processing operation. Processing is the conversion of input to output and this is done inside the computer in an area called the central processing unit which we know as CPU. The processor is the brain of a computer and it is a microchip. CPUs perform two basic types of tasks, arithmetic operations and logical operations. Arithmetic operations involve basic maths like addition and subtraction while logical operations compare to numbers. So we have another diagram showing us what a CPU look like. These are found, this CPU is found in the computer system. So we move on. Output process or output operation. Output is the result of a computer process. We can also say that output is any information that comes out of a computer. In computing, information refers to, uh, to any data presented in a useful form. The most common output devices include monitors, printers, and speakers. So we have images showing us what output devices look like. We have here the monitor. We have a printer that is used for printing jobs or processed jobs from the computer. And we have the speakers. This is an external speaker. On to the next. We have the storage process. <coughs> Excuse me. The, compu the computer data storage is referred to as storage or memory which can save digital data. The most common storage medium is the hard drive. Memory cards, DVD ROMs and floppy disks are other examples of storage devices. Computers will not be as useful as they are if they were unable to remember anything. The fourth basic operation storage allows the computer to recall previously entered data and store information. The information stored on the computer includes documents, music, log files, software and the operating system, which is also known as OS.
so we have pictures here showing us the types of storage devices we have we have um, the hard disk drive also known as HDD or hard drive this is where the computer stores the um, operating system and it is a primary storage device on the computer system so we have we also have the flash drive this is an external storage device which can be unplugged plugged and unplugged from the computer system we also have the compact disk the cd is also an external storage device that is the end of our lesson for today so we'll move to quiz students should um, be able to tell me what a peripheral device is what are peripheral devices and give examples number two mention other computer input devices you know three mention other computer output devices you know i hope you enjoyed the lesson thank you for listening